Hello dosto which means friends welcome back to my channel go geeko today i will be talking about informatica intelligent cloud services overview and we will also create first mapping task so one of the main concept of ics is agent which is nothing but a compute engine meaning where your logic will actually get processed so in order to process your data you need some kind of a machine or some kind of a compute engine now that compute engine can be on premise meaning you will just download and install an agent agent think about agent like a service like you may see any informatica service running or you may see you know idq service running similarly a agent service will be running on your one of your machine now that can be a single machine or a single server or it could be a group of distributed servers which is uh, for distributed computing there is also an option for serverless spark processing which we won't go much into detail but i just want this time you all to know that there is a concept called agent that is where your mapping task runs so why ics because you can very quickly and easily develop mappings your code in ics so that was that's the main point the other one is it's very easy to maintain and easy to debug and it's very cloud focused so as a company your focus could be on all on cloud services as we are seeing nowadays everyone is moving towards cloud so ics makes more sense versus keeping things in on prem or installing things very minimum installation is needed for ics and even for upgrades let's dive into informatica ics tool and let's see how you can create your first mapping so this is the ics interface as soon as you log in that's what you see and you can actually change which service you want to based on what permissions you have but mainly you will go to data integration or sometimes you will go to monitor to actually monitor your mappings you can actually monitor from here too um, and then there is some administrative location where you can manage your ics platform and there are other things also but i will be focusing in terms of etl development which is a data integration service so once you go here you have these simple things right you can create something new you can explore what you already have let's say i have two projects here one is default one is poc inside poc i have all these mappings mapping task and a task flow and those are my jobs also so we will go over that in my future videos but in this video i will just quickly create a first mapping so let's do that explore and we can just say if i go back here all projects and let's first create a, a project folder here so let's say new project and I'll name it as POC1 save there your project go to your project inside your project so this think about this as a folder in uh, power center or informatica BDM this is just to maintain your mappings or tasks based on different projects you are doing so let's create a first mapping inside POC1 new mapping mapping create so this comes by default and now let's say what is your source so even in dei or bdm by the way dei is the new name for informatica bdm and also in ics everything you do under here so you click on the on the transformation or your source or your target and then you give all the things related to that underneath here right so i'm going to source now you have to tell what is your source so you go to source and you say which connection you want so i have few connections already here so i'm going to use the s3 connection and i wanted to use a single object you know i can actually use a parameter too but um, in this case it's just a sing single file and if you select then you can select what you want so let's say i want customer so hit okay and you can actually preview that data if you want so this is your data done now let's say you wanted to do something let's say we wanted to do a filter right in as soon as you so as soon as you drag and drop it will connect automatically you can arrange that using this so go to filter and you can rename the filter here so if you go to filter it's a simple filter and you say plus 
and you say what is that about so you say where let's say in this case you want customer number which is not equal to null or let's say just empty string right so that means it's not equal to null and you can validate your mapping right here so right now as soon as i validate it says there is no target right so we have to define the target connection so this is my filter and similarly i can also use expression right just put the expression here let's say i create a a new field so incoming field and there is a concept of include and exclude which is a very simple concept it sometimes it looks confusing so let's say i wanted to include all fields um now let's say i wanted to plus and i want to say exclude let's say i wanted to exclude some of the fields so i'll go to configure and i'll choose i don't want address line field line two field so that field will be excluded apart from that everything will be going out from this expression so if you see now you don't see ex address line two that was a very simple concept so i just want to show that now let's say you wanted to create an expression right so create an expression let's say plus hit sign and say you wanted to create an output field which is a new field and let's say output full name give it 255 hit okay now i have to go to configure and then i write about that so this is an expression for o output field and what i really want to do is i just want to concatenate first name you say add here space add and you do last name just hit add and hit ok and you can validate it here we will see we'll still see invalid because um, our target connection is not there yet um, so oh even the expression it says not valid so let's see what's happening here oh yeah syntax here because you have to actually give a space like that try to validate this this is a valid expression now go back to target target and we need to give the target connection also by the way these connections can be created uh, by the administrators or whoever has access under the admin window you can go there and create the connections those are very simple like you create connections in power center or in pdm dei let's say if you want to create an oracle connection you give the host name the port number and the user id and password service name and you test your connection is exactly same so i in this case i'm going to create uh, this file in s3 and let's see object let's say select object and let's say i'm going to load that into this my account csv file which is already there and it's an insert operation and now you can actually see the field mapping so let's say how you want to do that so let's say full name goes to full name and you can say manual here so this is a manual so it will just you can drag and drop and let's say customer id goes to id customer number goes to id and then you have address line going to billings city is going to city for this video i will just load only these fields now let's validate it again and you can see the mapping is valid now in now we can save this and we can run this it will ask what runtime environment you want that is where the agent comes into the picture because on what machine you want to run this so you will choose let's say i'm going to choose this agent and this is my mapping and i hit run all right i am having some issues uh, with running this mapping because the agent is not running and i cannot run the agent but uh, this is uh, that's okay this is a very simple mapping this is the concept you save and you run so once the mapping runs you can see the logs here go to my jobs and let's say this is the mapping which i ran before you, if you click on that you see that this mapping loaded the similar data to the my, my account csv file and you can download the session log the session logs looks pretty much similar to what informatica power center log looks like let me give a concept of task flow also let's say if you go task flow here 
So you can do parallel tasks or linear or these tasks, sequential tasks. Task flows are nothing but workflows, as simple. In DEI or BDM or in Power Center, you have workflow concepts. Similarly, you have task flow. But in task flow, you cannot just directly put your mappings. You have to create mapping tasks uh, in the task flow. So imagine like in Power Center, you create session tasks, right? You cannot just directly use your mappings. So it's the same idea. You create tasks, mapping tasks here, and then you use mapping tasks inside your task flows. So how do you create a task, a mapping tasks? So if you go to tasks, then you create a mapping task and you create, and now you just choose which mapping. So in this case, I wanted to create a mapping from my POC1 folder, and I'll choose one runtime environment. And if you look at it, I have only one mapping here. So I choose that, select, and you hit next again the agent is not running so that's an issue uh, my apologies for that it's not working but it's really really it's not a big deal that's it that's how you create a mapping task and the way the mapping task looks like is if you look at this this is a mapping task this this kind of an error and if you click on that it shows you this is a task type is a mapping and that's what you run and that's what you can actually use in the task flow also I can show you one task flow and then in my future video, I will actually create a task flow also, which is very simple. Go and explore. Let's say explore my projects. Go to POC. There is this task flow which I created. Here is a task flow one, which is nothing but I created two mappings and I use those as a task flow. As soon as you create a new task flow, it comes automatically start and end like in DEI or BDM, then you create task. So if you look at it, what is your data task? This is, this is the MT test customer. That is your mapping task, which you are using here. In this case, I'm using this another mapping task. Idea is you use a mapping task here. These are like session tasks, start and end. Also, you can use notifications, command line, the way we have in Power Center or in DEI, you can do all that. You can do assignment of variables, all those things I can show that in future videos. Then again, you can run that. It's actually says started. And if you go to my jobs, it will actually fail because agent is not running. If you look at it, it shows running. You can also schedule these tasks. This completes overview of IICS video and create your first mapping task. Please subscribe to my channel. Geeko for more data engineering related videos. Thank you. Bye.